Hi friends, it's Miss Lisa here and I miss you! I really do! And I know it's really weird that I'm in your screen and you're at home. So I just want to say that I hope I see you really soon, but I hope that you join us in the comments and you take a picture of the people you're with um, and comment below your sweet and sours. So speaking of sweet and sours, share your sweet and sour with the people around you. Well wait, the people around you may not know what a sweet and sour is. So sweet and sour is where we share the sweetest parts of our week and something that was sour. So go ahead and pause the video right now and share your sweet and sour with the people around you. Awesome job. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into our Bible story today. And our Bible story is the story of Jesus breaking the bread. So I'm going to read from our storybook Bible, Mark 14, 12 through 26. So let's jump right in. On the first day of the festival, Jesus' disciples asked him where they should prepare the Passover meal. Jesus told two of the disciples what to do. Go into the city of Jerusalem. A man carrying a watering jar will meet you. Follow him. Where he goes into the house, tell the disciples that the teacher and his disciples will eat there in his guest room. That's where you should prepare the Passover meal. The disciples did just what Jesus said, and they prepared the Passover meal. That night, Jesus and his 12 friends arrived for the meal. During the Passover meal, Jesus took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his friends. Jesus said, take, this is my body. Jesus took the cup, gave thanks, gave it to them, and they all drank from it. Jesus said, this is the new covenant. Jesus and his disciples finished the meal, sang songs of praise, then went out to the Mount of Olives. Okay, so from this Bible story, I have two questions for you. How do you think Jesus felt having a meal with his friends? Go ahead and pause this video, chat with the people around you. How do you think Jesus felt having a meal with his friends? Okay, next question. Have you ever had a big feast? I'm guessing yes. If you join us for Connect on Wednesday nights, we normally have a hundred friends at church eating our meal, which I think is a feast. Okay, so we've read our Bible story, we've shared our sweet and sours. Now I want us to play a game. And you're probably wondering, Miss Lisa, how are we gonna play a game? You're in my screen right now. Well, today we learned of the time where Jesus told his friends to remember him. And we remember Jesus when we eat the bread during communion. So I want you to think, how do you want to be remembered? So for example, I would want to be remembered for singing because I love to sing. So you're going to come up with an action that goes along with how you want to be remembered. So I would say, remember me when you sing. So I want you to come up with that with the people around you. You're going to go around and then see if you can remember how they want to be remembered. I hope this is a fun game for you guys. So attached to this video, we'll have some discussion questions and we'll have some additional printoffs. And I hope that you can continue this conversation right at your home. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time where we can come and learn the story of Jesus breaking the bread. I ask that you're with us as we uh, come together as family and friends via technology. Thank you for loving us. In your name we pray, amen. See you soon.